Engler went into seclusion. He disappeared after the fight. He had a place up in New Hampshire. Goody and Pat couldn't reach him. He was just in a funk. You know, he was, he was in a depression. This had become a toxic event in his life. And I mean toxic by the sense that it was inside of him and it was eating him away. And it was not only eating him away, but it was eating his life with his family away. His marriage, which was always kind of shaky, fell apart. From reports, he, uh, he began to drink quite a bit. He went on an extended vacation. He was down in St. Bart's for maybe a month or so, just hanging out at poolside drinking, not wanting to be bothered by anybody. Conflict between Hangler and his wife became public in June of 1987 when Bertha filed an abuse petition. A judge issued a temporary order barring Hangler from their house and gave Bertha custody of their five children. While Hangler didn't contest the court order, he did deny a news report alleging widespread abuse of alcohol and cocaine. For about a year, Hagler agitated for a rematch, and he was almost frantic about it. Everywhere he went, you know, that's all he wanted to talk about. He wanted a rematch, 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 rematch. Hey, <laughs> Ray Leonard was going to ever give him a rematch. He says, Goody, he says, uh, I'm having some problems. Thinking about getting a divorce, blah, 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 blah. He says, uh, might as well hang him up, he says, because... Uh, can't get that rematch anyway, and uh, I says, Marvin, I says, uh, great, I says, I'm on your side, you did a great job, we hugged, and that was it, he retired. His career was bookended. He was screwed in Vegas in the Anafermo fight in 79, and he was, he felt, screwed in his last fight in 87. It was a perfect bookend. Ray left laughing all the way to the bank and went on to win several more titles. And uh, he left Marvin Hagler in an emotional lurch from which he's never really recovered. In 1988, Hagler, with a career record of 62, 3, and 2, officially retired. The next year, he moved to Milan, Italy. He was going to take his dignity, he was going to take his life, and he was going to go. And he wasn't going to come back to something that he felt that he had respected for so many years and in the end conspired against him, didn't treat him properly. He found a sort of, not only a second home there, but a home that fit his view of himself. He became a minor movie star there. He feels he gets there when he never got in the United States, which is the great respect for being one of the great fighters of all time. He met this girl that he fell in love with and married, and he has a, a new type life. Speaks good Italian. Uh, he, see, he seems to be pleased. Hagler's goal of breaking into foreign films and then crossing over to Hollywood hasn't been realized. He stays busy making personal appearances and doing speaking engagements. In 2006, at a charity event in Boston, he showed that the old pain still lived. The people were making noise in the crowd. It was a long night, and it was coming time to introduce him as our, you know, main guest. And he came to me, grabbed me behind the microphone, and actually had thoughts of not going up. And he actually had tears in his eyes. As you were saying, these people don't understand. We have got the best boxes in the house of the world we have here tonight. And you're not giving us the proper respect by running around and not sitting down and listening to what we have to say. Because our whole life is right there on the screen. All he wanted was people to care about him, for people to love him. Hagler was the type of fighter that hardcore fans always respected, but his greatness was always in doubt. The reward for him is that after years of not getting the limelight, he's now considered among the greatest middleweights in history. He took on all comers, and he beat everyone, but his legacy, unfortunately, will be forever diminished by the loss to Ray Leonard. 
I don't think that's fair. I don't think the world will ever know, besides of this ring accomplishments, they would truly never know who Marvin Hagler is. Because he's such a private man, such a proud man, he won't let you in. He would never let us in to his world. We just have to accept what he's given us, what he's shown us, that he's a champion inside and outside the ring.